Flaring gas, an essential practice in oil and gas industry. The flame from a flare stack in an oil and gas facility is often misunderstood. Far from being wasteful, it represents a critical safety and operational practice called flaring. Flaring is indispensable for maintaining safety, protecting personnel, and ensuring compliance. Why flaring is necessary. First, safety relief mechanism. Pressure can build up dangerously in processing equipment. If unmanaged, this could lead to explosions or equipment damage. Flaring acts as a safety valve, burning off excess gas to prevent overpressurization in vessels, pipelines, and compressors. This is crucial for safeguarding the facility and its workforce. Second, handling emergencies and unplanned events. During process upsets like equipment failures or power loss, systems may need to quickly dispose of gas that cannot be processed or stored. Flaring provides a fast, controlled method to deal with these situations, maintaining facility stability and protecting personnel and equipment during unpredictable events. Third, disposal of non-saleable or waste gas. Some gases are unsuitable for sale or reinjection due to contamination. When treatment isn't feasible, these are often flared. This safely disposes of harmful or non-useful gases, preventing their dangerous accumulation. Fourth, maintenance and startup operations. During maintenance, shutdowns, or startups, processes are purged and flow conditions change. Temporary flaring is used to safely manage this excess gas until normal operations resume, ensuring control transitions. Finally, environmental and regulatory compliance. While flaring emits carbon dioxide, it is preferable to venting raw hydrocarbons like methane, which have a much higher global warming potential. Flaring converts these potent hydrocarbons into less impactful carbon dioxide and water vapor through combustion. Proper flaring design ensures minimal environmental impact and compliance with emission regulations.